What is good, y'all? Everyday Carry here, back with another video. If you're new here, welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. Now, as always, head on over to my Instagram, at everyday.carry underscore for daily EDC content, and let's get into today's video. Um, what I want to talk about today is a company called Alpaca. Now, they make a lot of high-quality uh, pouches, EDC pouches, bags, sling bags, you name it. They also make a couple... Um, like card wallets, they make really good stuff. They had sent me over a couple things to review and they sent me a while back. I wanted to give each product its own time to carry, review, see how it does. And so that brings us to today. But what I wanna start off this video with is a little pocket dump, let you guys know what I'm carrying in my pockets. So for, let's start with the wallet. It is the Whitstable Craft Co. This is their Castle Wallet. This has been a mainstay in my EDC for months. I want to say probably about six months from the time I got it to now, this has been my wallet. It's gotten a really good patina on there, a couple of nicks and scratches. I don't mind. It's a quality product with a lifetime warranty. So should anything happen to this wallet, my buddy James, who owns this company, will replace it. Um, and get you a brand new wallet. Lifetime guarantee, and that's why I love this product right here. Now let's go to my keys. So I have my work van keys here, but attached to it is the stonewashed aluminum key bar. This is the full size. I have the bronze pocket clip and the titanium, I believe this is the whatchamacallit insert. It's just a little pry tool, bottle opener, and a nice ruler if you would ever use it. I don't use the ruler. Um, just a nice little quick pry tool should you ever need one so you don't go digging around a pouch or your pockets. It's just right there for you. Now the pen is something I have just added. It is the Olight O Pen Mini. Really compact bolt action pen, but I've been absolutely loving this. I've been carrying it for the last little bit and it's been awesome. To go along with that is the updated version of the Olight Arkfeld. And this light is fantastic. I love the flat design, the nice little milling patterns right there and the updated pocket clip. The pocket clip in and of itself just makes this light so much better than the original which is why I decided to pick this one up instead of the original Arkfeld. Um, I just had a lot of issues with it. Um, in my last video, I posted my unboxing and first impressions of this. And you'll see in that video that I just, I, there were a lot of things that turned me off to the original Arkfeld, but this new updated version was something I had to pick up. And the knife is the Kaiser Drop Bear. This has been the closest to an everyday carry knife for me. I do rotate in and out, but this is the knife that has stayed in my pockets for the longest amount of times. And ones that I, one that I always go back to. Now, I usually will swap in and out knives, but I will carry this one for two, three, four days at a time without switching, which goes to show how good this particular knife is. Absolutely love it. And, Conveniently enough, the pouch that I carry that we are going to get into today is this. This is the Alpaca Admin Pouch, and this has been my favorite EDC pocket, I wouldn't call it a pocket or organizer, but a pouch organizer that I have ever put my hands on, that I have ever carried with me. This has been the best one, and we'll go over why right now. So let's get an overhead view and see what Alpaca did actually end up sending me. All right, you guys, this is the Alpaca admin pouch. Nice, subtle branding there. That is the only branding on this entire pouch that would lead you to believe it's Alpaca. Now this is Alpaca's, I don't know if it's exclusive, probably not exclusive to Alpaca, but this is their X-Pack material, YKK zippers. And in this front pocket, all I have in this one is I have my lever gear quick 
cable, so it's just a USB-A to lightning, but it also comes with a USB-C adapter, which is fairly nice and comes in handy quite a lot. I love just the compact size of this. I don't have a three foot cable or anything like that, but that's what I have in here, as well as just an Olight magnetic disc in case I need to charge on the go, I do have a charger in there. That's all I keep in this front pocket. Actually, let's just leave all of that out for now. I have this thing packed to the max, which is how I tend to carry it. So it, it carries a lot, as you'll see. So let's crack open here. They, like I said, they're YKK zippers, so you don't have any snagging or anything like that. Just really smooth operating zippers. And on the inside here, I have my gray Topo Hank by Lone Star Hanks with the microfiber backing. So if I need to wipe down my camera lens or the lens on my phone or even the phone screen, I can do that easily, no problem. So that's there. And then I'll just go left to right. So on the left side here, I have my field notes where I keep all of my notes if I need anything. So I have ideas for videos, my goals for all of my social medias where I want to end up eventually with this. And it's just a really good idea if I have any thoughts that need writing down. There's just something really therapeutic about a pen and a paper that you don't get on just typing on a phone. So I always keep paper handy. So field notes. I just recently posted a review of this. This is the Mark Smith uh, by Soulbuilt titanium permanent marker. And this thing is fantastic. Awesome piece of gear. But on this side is just a pair of titanium tweezers that I keep on me. Comes in very handy for splinters and everything and the like. My titanium pry bar. And I do keep, I don't carry a multi-tool on me. I just found that there were a lot of things on a multi-tool that I didn't particularly use. And what I ended up actually using was pliers, the flathead for prying, and that was pretty much it, and a screwdriver. But I have opted for these crescent, I wanna say these are the four inches, four or five inch pliers. I haven't gotten my hands on the Nipex ones. I'd be really interested in trying those out, but as far as right now, these are the ones that I have and they do fairly well. They are adjustable and as far as just daily EDC tasks, you know, I don't need large tongue and groove pliers, but these do the job and they do it pretty well. Next up also from Lever Gear is the Bit Vault. And if you're unfamiliar with this, this came out, I want to say in like 2018 or 2017. So it's been around for a while, but it has storage in this waterproof compartment. It is customizable and, but all you do is pop a quarter inch bit right into the top and you have a fully functioning screwdriver. I have been using this, my, as you know, my wife and I just recently moved into a new apartment and this has been the screwdriver that I've been building all of our furniture with. Believe it or not, this thing is pretty dang useful. Lever gear bit vault. And the last thing I have in here is this car mast. Is this 10,000? 10, 10,400 milliamp hour portable battery. And this one is cool because it has an LED screen showing you the percentage of battery that's left on this. And I want to say this was like 25 or 30 bucks on Amazon. So pretty cheap for a 10,000 milliamp hour portable battery. This charges everything I need it to. It's charged my camera, charges my iPhone, no problem. And um, like I said, I carry an Olight charger for if I ever need it. Again, in my review of these, I've never run out of battery in a single day. I've gotten to about 40, 30, I think 30 or 40% was the lowest any of my flashlights have ever gotten to. But in the rare case that I would need to charge it, I have a battery for it. And all of this just plugs back into place. Absolutely no problem. I have everything set. 
pretty much in a way that doesn't really change all that much. So I have these right there. My field notes over on this side. Hank right there just to keep everything from bunching together. And then all of the cables. So as you can see for a pretty compact size pouch, this thing fits a crazy amount of stuff. And the one that I'm gonna show you guys next is a little bit bigger and accommodates even more. So let's, let's check that one out. So this was the Alpaca Admin Pouch. All right, you guys, next up, we have a very similar looking pouch. This is the Alpaca Utility Pouch. Now, when my Instagram hit a thousand followers, I gave one of these away and this has been, it's a bit bigger, but I think that the storage on the inside is, again, when we break it down on the inside, I'll show you how it's all broken down. But on the front and the back, you do have um, water resistant. These are the water resistant zippers. So they're covered, which is really cool because the X-Pack material on this is waterproof. So this won't soak up any water. And the fact that there are water resistant zippers here make it all that much better. So I have all of the same gear in here. So I have my Olite and lever gear chargers right in the front. And on the back, you'll notice it's quite different. I don't keep anything back here just because laying it down, it tends to stay flat. And, but I do like that this has a little handle here. So if I wanted to just bring this somewhere, I can just easily carry it, put my hand through the strap and just carry it like this. Really cool. And if we open up the inside, I love alpacas pouches cause they all clamshell open. So it's all fully open here. And so same Hank. And I have it broken down a little bit differently here. So I have my portable battery on the inside on the left. This time I have my right in the rain poke pen that slips right in the middle slot here and it stays pretty well. There isn't a lot of retention, but it stays really well. And I have my Marksmith bit vault pry bar and tweezers right in the front. All those on the side here, my pliers and my field notes. And I, I really like the organization on this. You also have individual zipper compartments on this side with a nice um, honeycomb patterned interior there. And I wish that these weren't sewn together so it was just one big pouch, but you can fit a Zippo lighter in here, absolutely no problem. Um, I didn't find a need I used to carry a Zippo all the time, every day. It was in my pouch. It was actually sat right in here under this alpaca pocket. I didn't find that I used it enough to justify carrying it every day in a pouch. So I do carry it when I need it, but that's something that I will slot in here on a need, need by need basis and not every single day. But overall, I do really like this pouch. It's a little bit bigger. And honestly, I really do like the additional size. Um, the pocket layout is quite a bit different, but you, know, you have alpaca branding here and very minimal billboarding on the alpaca right here. Alpaca does a really good job of not like plastering alpaca right on the front. They keep it pretty minimal, which I really like. And I think a lot of people will also appreciate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and load this one back up with everything that I had in here. Uh, like I said, the admin pouch was one that has been a mainstay in my carry for quite a while. I want to say for the past couple months or so. Um, I did start with this utility pouch, which has been fantastic. I really do like the, the utility pouch quite a lot. But I found that the smaller size of 
the admin pouch works just a little bit better with my carry. Um, so that is the reason why I use the admin pouch. Um, I do carry a sling bag every single day. Um, I throw my, I just take this pouch with me, toss it in my sling bag and I'm good to go. I don't have to stuff all my pockets with um, everything in here, which what I, is what I was doing before I got into all of these different pouches. I, it was honestly brutal in the mornings trying to get everything in my pockets, but I really do like pouches. I know they're not for everybody, so these, these aren't going to be for everybody, but for the people that do use pouches, it just, it makes life so much easier if you carry quote unquote, an unusually large amount of stuff. Um, it just, it makes it so much easier to just throw this in a bag, know that I have everything that I need on me ready to go. I don't have to worry about, did I grab this? Did I grab that? It's already all in this pouch that I just grab my sling bag and I'm out the door ready to go. The only things I keep in my pockets are my wallet, knife, and flashlight. Those are the only things I keep in my pockets because I... I just found that I didn't have enough pockets to accommodate everything unless I wore like cargo pants, which I don't own or would want to venture into wearing cargo pants. It's just, it's not my thing. I wear jeans a lot. And so pouches have been an absolute game changer for me and especially these ones from Alpaca. Now getting into the last thing that they had sent me is their tech kit and rightfully named so that weatherproofed outer liner on the ykk zippers um, especially being that this is geared towards um, carrying around tech and on the inside you have this really nicely done gray honeycomb and lots of storage um, both of these pockets can accommodate a macbook charger and on the ends here you have one big back pocket, a nice big open zipper here, and two open pockets on the front. Now, like I said, this is their tech kit, and so this is mainly geared towards um, accommodating chargers and tech. Um, from what I've seen, mostly accommodating um, Apple products, as this bigger pouch on the side here is kind of cut perfectly for the MacBook brick, um, but you really could fit anything you'd like in here. I can fit my Olight Arkfeld right in there, no problems. And so that's kind of this, the size you're dealing with. You have an Arkfeld size width here along with the same here. And so you really can, it's, it's geared towards tech, but you can really load this out however you'd like. I, I got this one specifically for when my wife and I go on road trips to instead of just throwing chargers and power bricks and everything into a mess of a backpack or a suitcase and then we have to go looking and digging when we get to our hotel, we just throw all of our chargers in here, put it in a bag, and we know exactly where everything is. That was the idea of why I picked this one and haven't had to, haven't gotten the opportunity to test it out yet. Um, but, you know, this thing, it's, it's nice and it's, it's pretty well put together as well. Like this, there's some sort of like hard plastic, so it's almost like a hard case with a flexible clamshell opening there. But this thing is sturdy. And the zippers, again, being YKK, you know that they're quality zippers, you're not gonna have any issues, and that they're gonna last for a long time. So this um, is something that I'm really looking forward to using, especially when it comes to travel and keeping everything in a very organized fashion. But yeah. So that is the Alpaca Tech Kit. They have so many. They have probably four or five pages of products for you guys to check out. 
And I will throw it up on the screen here, but I have a discount code for 10% off anything you get from Alpaca. Um, I do believe that that is excluding any sale items that they have. Um, I don't know if they go on sale frequently, but um, I will throw my code. It is everyday.carry underscore 10 off for 10% off of your purchase. And I do have full disclosure. Um, Alpaca did send all of these to me free of charge for review. Um, but like I um, they didn't approve this video. They didn't give me a script to write. They just said, here's your products. Let us know how you love, how you enjoy them, how you like them and gave me a discount code. And I do have in my link tree that I'll leave in the description, an affiliate link for Alpaca. So if you click on that, it does help the channel. It goes a really long way. Um, and yeah, uh, if you do find anything that you're interested in, make sure again to use that code everyday.carry underscore 10 off for 10% off of your entire purchase. Again, if you feel interested in checking out my Instagram, I have photos, reels, you name it, it's on there of just EDC content. Um, and if you like what you see here on YouTube, feel free to like and subscribe and comment down below what you guys want to see more of in the future. Uh, that's all I have. So until next time, peace.